All righty. <laughs> so we've already talked about the most important thing, Chicago sports and tennis. Yeah. Yes. So yay. Yeah, yeah, um, yay. How was your weekend? My weekend was um, very productive. Only a little bit about real estate. But other than that, it was productive. I had an open house on Saturday. We did it um, a little bit later because I had another uh, client appointment early and nobody came. Maybe it was the weather. Maybe it was that it was a little bit later. Saturday, right? Yeah. Right. What time did you do your open house? I did it from two to four, thinking I would catch the tail end of the one to threes. Yeah. Um, but there was there were not there was not a soul on the street. Did you see? Were, did you see foot traffic? I had two at my open house, but you know, people ask me, sellers ask me, what is the best day? What is the best time to do an open house? And, you know, I haven't done a study on it. I can only report what my colleagues tell me and what my experiences are. And I don't have a good answer to that. You know, it depends on the weather, it depends on the day. Um, depends. Well, first of all, um, 12 to three on Sundays are no good if there's a bear game. <laughs> So. You won't get looky lose. You make it. You won't get really. I think the um, the Bears fans, male or female, will want to watch the game live. Right. And so, you know, it's uh, even if they're interested, they won't. They'll figure they can make an appointment or they'll do something else or whatever. Right. And remember, well, I have some, done eleven to one, so I can catch them quick before. So. Yes. Yes. And eleven to one can work. Um, but then you've got the, then you've got the people who go to church, though right. not now. <laughs> right. <laughs> not with COVID. Oh, not with dear. COVID. So anyway, the, the answer yeah. to that is do the open house when it works for you, Mr. Seller. Right. Because, uh, yeah. But exactly. I do like the midday because you catch the brunchers and you catch the people before, you know, whatever. Yes. 11 or after brunch. Good. Yeah. Right. I find sometimes one to three works really well. It you know what? It just depends. You so um, you had two people at yours. Was yes. that good? They were uh, serious buyers instead of just people beginning the education process. So we'll see. We'll okay. see how it goes. So I'm um, for you. For those of you who are new to the show, my name is Ann Rossley. I'm here with Kyle Harvey. We're both with Hello. you in the corner. And we do a morning show called Monday Morning Coffee with Kyle and Ann talking real estate in Chicago. We have been talking recently, Kyle, about uh, real estate in the city, how it's been affected by COVID and how it's been affected by some protests. Um, we have seen articles by our friend Dennis Rodkin and Cranes talking about how rents in the city are declining somewhat and talking about how there is, in general, a flight to the suburbs. So uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit. But more importantly, we have chosen what we think is a, what you thought, and I agree with you, is an important topic, and that is suburbs in the city. And what we're referring to by that is little enclaves of neighborhoods that feel like the suburbs, even though they are in the city of Chicago. And there are several of them. But today we're going to talk about Forest Glen. And by Forest Glen, we mean... Forest Glen, micro neighborhood, Ash, Wildwood. Did I mean? There are a bunch. There's yeah. Edgebrook. Edgebrook, yeah. yeah. There's Saugenash Park, which is really a subset of Saugenash. There's North Edgebrook, and one that I've got, and I've got a house for us today in Old Edgebrook, which Old is this Edgebrook. tiny little, I, I didn't even know it existed until I had a buyer who was sort of interested in that area. So, Yes. So we will talk about that. Let's talk first for a minute, though, about our downtown neighborhood and what we're hearing and what we're seeing this week. It's been a couple of weeks since we've been together between my vacation and your and uh, Labor Day. So um, we've had a couple of weeks. Do you see a big change in the market since we were last together? I, I, I have seen a. Um a lot of new listings coming on. I've seen a lot of um, activity in, uh, you know, price changes, cancel relists. I have not heard even anecdotally that there have been a lot of showings. That could be though, you know, the settling in after 
being out of town, getting kids ready for school. Some right. um, people are going back to the office. September 1 or, sep you know, the day, Tuesday after um, Labor Day was the start date for some people going back into their offices. And so, we're so some movement there, yeah. So maybe people have had enough on their plate. Now, I keep posting on my LinkedIn page um, the, the stats, the weekly stats from MRED. And they keep showing, you know, showings are up, um, closed prices are up, uh, the number, uh, uh, and when I mean up, it, be, it means up over last week. Well, last week was a holiday week, so let's mm -hmm. not put that. But it also showed it up over 2019. And 2019 was a tough year um, for Chicago real estate, would you agree? Mm -hmm. So the fact that it's up, but at the same time, I don't know that it's up in the neighborhoods that I service a lot, which are um, the Gold Coast, Lincoln Park, Lakeview, um, the Loop, you know, the, those areas that I, I tend to, my people tend to want to go to, right. um, it, it seems to be a little bit slow. How about you, what's your experience? Well, um, like you over the last two weeks, I, you know, seen it was slower. I was anticipating we would have more activity after Labor Day. I'm hearing from colleagues that their showings are starting to pick up since we've hit Good. Labor Day. And um, so, and sh yeah, showings are starting again. I've got some showing requests for my listing. So, excellent. This is, you know, sliding into the election. The election typically takes about 10% of the market off for about four weeks. But uh, hopefully, we've had some pent up demand and we're going to see a, a really good four weeks coming up. Yes. That being said, you would you like to go ahead and yes. talk about our suburb in the city? Um, yes. I am going to share my screen with you first, if that's okay. Absolutely. I want, I want to show you. Okay. So what I did was I pulled up, and this is just broad strokes. This is active and closed in the last one month. But what I wanted to show you was how busy this neighborhood is and what our price points are. They've had one, two, three, four, five, five new, three reactivated, one price change. But look at all actives. Yeah. Uh, let me go back here. I don't know. 200,000 is the starting point for a single family home in this area. And you'll see most of these in the fours, the fives, the sixes. Look at the next page, eights, nines. We have one over a million and one over two million, but that's it. And then I want to show you this is well, really. The one, let's let's pause. The one over a million is a spec house, or the one point nine, and the two point three. They most of them are under a million. That's exactly. Those right. are those are total outliers. Absolutely. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, this neighborhood uh, is known for being a very reasonably priced neighborhood. It also, which we haven't mentioned at this point, has some very excellent elementary schools. Yeah. So if you want, a, like the suburbs, if you want to move to a neighborhood where you're going to have a very excellent neighborhood school your kids can walk to, this Forest Glen area is the place for you. All right, but what I thought was so terrific was all... Okay, 51, make it 49 actives, okay? Mm -hmm. I wanna show you all of the pendings. And these are those that have just gone under contract, presumably in the last week or two, because they're still in the inspection period. Look at all those. Lots of properties going under contract. It appears that people are interested in moving to suburbs in the city. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. A well, lot, I just, lot. I, I just, I just quickly did a, um, a, a, the same search, mm -hmm. but just on properties that have only been on the market 15 days. Yeah. So, so, and not cancel relist, but total market time of, of 15 days or less. And three went under contract in the last seven days. 
Um, wow. The price, the lowest price point was three twenty five, and these are all houses. Right. Three twenty five, and um, the highest was six seventy nine. Those are the list prices of the properties that went under contract in under in under two weeks. So things are moving quickly, not just moving in right. um, in Forest Glen. So. You know, I'm a big fan of InfoSpark. So yes. here is what's gone under contract. And here was January, February, we were March, yeah. we were getting good. And then of course we got into the COVID time, but look up here, very strong. Month yeah. supply, look at this. There's like no inventory, they're selling, selling, selling. You know, downtown, we're in around the six month and up mark, but down here, They've only got 2.8. It is a total seller's market in Forest Glen. And then median yeah. sales price, 438 is the median price of a home you can get in this neighborhood. So pretty great. Pretty great. All right. Um, well, we brought we've um got properties to show you from um from the Forest Glen neighborhood. Do you want to start or shall I? I'm happy to start. Good. Let me oh, hold on. I have to show my desktop here. There we go. Okay. So, you know me too with my maps. I love maps. Here we are in Chicago. You and I both live down in this yellow, right at the loop area. I used to live up here at Edgewater. I'm actually in the blue. I'm in the blue, oh, you near the north blue. side. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yes, you are. Okay, so the three homes I'm going to show you, here's Forest Glen right here. And uh, yeah, look at that crazy very well, shape. But, what, but when the Kennedy comes up and then it splits and the Eden starts to go up, here's where you are, right at the top of the city before it hits Lincolnwood and Skokie. And the three I'm going to show you here, here are the neighborhoods that you were just mentioning. And the first one I'm showing you today is 4455 Rosemont. I am a big fan of the mid-century. I don't think, I, I, I love a ranch. Value. It's a ranch. Big wide window, living room, kitchen. Okay, so the one thing this neighborhood has going for it are great basements. Can I tell you, I just love the basements in this neighborhood. And this one has a big wide open basement. I note the bar. Remember from last time when we always noted yeah. that, I don't know what it is about Chicago, every basement has a bar. Every basement has a I bar. I always look for the bar. And there it is, you have a bar. Exactly right. Okay, next home I'm showing, 6150 Kirkwood. I actually sold Darling. a home at 61 on the same block in Kirkwood. Um, Darling. Nice traditional home for 600000 list price. You know, I don't know about you, I had trouble finding homes because so many were under contract and I wanted to show ones that were currently for sale. I did uh, too. Yeah. Some of these homes that were built in the 40s and 50s have these little decks off the, which is so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the last one is 6784 Ionia, listed for seven ninety nine, and I just thought this was also very quaint. Here's the floor plan on this one. Um, so you've got the um, living room, dining room, family room, all connected in the kitchen. You'll see a photo of this in a minute where the kitchen just kind of goes through. This is listed as a bedroom, but if you don't need it as a bedroom, it makes for a great office. Second yes. floor, three bedrooms. And this is pretty typical, although some of these homes some of the smaller homes only have one bathroom on the second floor, but I think that's why this one is at a different price point is because it's got the two full baths upstairs with the whole master here. Very simple, but you don't lose a lot of space to hallway. So it's a very compact. You know what's place. interesting? So stop, go back, go back. So what happened with this remodel? This was remodeled and they probably, um, because this is a nine foot by 19, so 10 feet by 19 feet be master bedroom, very yeah. odd configuration. They, yeah. This must have been probably cut off 
um, in a different way, and that was a shared bath, but they wanted to create an ensuite master bath for a bedroom, and the only one that worked was this one. Because you this know, is the, the larger yeah. bedroom is the master. You make a good point. I'll bet you this one was originally the yeah. master. And this yeah. might have even been two bedrooms and they all shared one yeah. bath. And then yeah. they put this in because of, yeah, very good point. All right, so here's our basement space with rec room, flex space, another bath. And this is what it looks like inside. Pretty. Very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. So this is kitchen into that family room. So it is- Oh, look at that, wow. Isn't that lovely? Lovely, much better layout than the um, floor plan suggests. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then nice big backyard. Mm -hmm. So you're, you know, the list price, it's under 800,000. You're still in the city with reasonable taxes. So that's yes. it. Excellent. Those are my Excellent. three. And I have to confess, um, hmm. For, the, for our viewers, um, Kyle sent me her three. I had, three two, I, I had two of them. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Which means, okay. yeah. So it means great minds think alike. Right. And there's exactly. not a ton of property. Right. Okay. So here's my, here are mine. Share screen, share. Come on, here we go. Hi, everybody. You get to see all that goes on on my screen. Oopsie, wrong thing. Um, <laughs> there we go. Keeping it real, people, Monday morning. Um, so birds of the city, keeping a Chicago address because you know what? I'm a Chicagoan. So here are mine. So I started off with a very easy entry level property, 5071 West Catalpa. Um, 429.9. It is a new listing. My guess is this thing's going to go fast. I it's think in it's the adorable. Yeah. Adorable. Yeah. It, it needs work. It needs work, people. Um, it's in the Forest Glen neighborhood. It's three bedrooms, two baths, but um, it's 1,700, a uh, little over 1,700 square feet, but it has an unfinished basement. And you can't count square footage of an unfinished basement. And so you might be able to get another 1,000, 12, 1,500 square feet if you finish your basement. Now look at the size of that lot. That is more than double a, uh, a downtown lot. That's 50, usually they're 25 by 125. This is 50 by 150, a big lot. It has a 2.5 car garage, which means two cars and a lot of storage. And look at those taxes really reasonable. Um, we're going to go up here, make it easier. So I thought I'd give you a map of where this is in context of the Eden's Expressway based on what Anne was showing you. Um, so it's right near um, forest preserves. How lovely is that? Unless you're Kyle Harvey and you fear that that's where your body will be dumped after you're murdered in your bed. People, now you know too much about me. You know that's why you me. live in a high rise. That's why I live downtown in a high rise where near no forest preserves. But anyway, it's never going to happen. It's lovely. Um, so, uh, but uh, far enough away from the highway, but close enough so that you have a really easy commute either north or south. Um, and so here is the it, a home with great bones. Look at that um, molding. The that looks like it's probably original wood. Look at that. Really nice bones. Yes, it needs some updating, but it's a nice big kitchen. You're going to want it. The the buyer's going to want to do a whole lot. You'll you'll probably want to address this area here. Make it much more of a garden. This was a, a home that people lived in for a long time. But look, there's a lot of space to make it your own. Now, the second one is this darling bungalow. This is a traditional um, Chicago bungalow in the Saugenash neighborhood at 6129 North Kilburn. It's priced just under 800,000, um, but you know, it's been on the market a little bit. So you know, this is what I say to buyers, make an offer. Uh, it's six bedrooms, three and a half baths. Two of the bedrooms are in the basement and I've, I'm not showing you the pictures of them. I wouldn't want to sleep down in that basement. So, but that's me. 
Um, but uh, there's, an, there's a nice amount of square footage. 26, um, 64 square feet, and again, a very big lot, 40 by 140. Some of that is in the front yard. So you'll have a nice big front yard garden. Um, two car garage, taxes are just about $11,000. And the fun fact, this was artist, Chicago artist, Ed Paschke's former home. Who knew? I did, because I read the listing. So here is where it is. <laughs> Um, so you get off the Edens, if you're coming home, get off at Peterson, and then just work your way into Saugamash, right in here. Very easy. And I got to tell you, sometimes I'll use the Peterson exit to get to um, Lakeshore Drive. Right. So it's, it, you are very well connected to the main arteries that get you in. You know, this is L Lincoln Avenue is right here. So it's, um, it's really easy to get around. And yes, this too is a little quirky of a home, but look at this enormous living room. The kitchen, again, a little bit of quirk, but look at those windows. I love windows in a kitchen, bringing the natural light in, beautiful. And that's the dining that room that you brick. see. It looks like it was an addition at one point, doesn't it? It does. It does. And then the back, you know, to your point, they loved having a little back deck and there's the big, there's the big garage. Mm -hmm. So that's the outdoor space for this house. The, the yard seems to be more in the front and the backyard has the garage. Okay. Then this does not show up very well on my, on my screen. It showed up better in the pictures. This is, this is a very interesting neighborhood. This is old Edgebrook. 6300 North Louise Avenue. It's on the market now for just under 900,000. It started much higher over, oh, about three years ago. So this has been on the market a long time. It is a beautiful old style house. Um, look at that wraparound porch, six bedrooms, three and a half baths. It doesn't report the square footage, but there's a lot. Now, this is a, an, a bizarrely irregular lot, but effectively it's 50 by 166. So a really big Chicago lot with a 2.5 um, car garage, two and a half car garage, and taxes are more, almost $16,000 a year. And it's in Old Edgebrook. So Old Edgebrook is surrounded by the Edgebrook Golf Course. Um, the Billy Caldwell Golf Course, and the Clayton Smith Reserves. And it is this, this is Caldwell Avenue. I think 14 is, yeah, it's Caldwell Avenue. It is this tiny little enclave of about, it's under 100 homes in there. I think it's, it may be even under 50. It's this tiny neighborhood that is incredible. So check out Google Old Edgebrook. Um, so this home has beautiful, beautiful, um, historic and original features like the molding, the, um, the door, at the, look at the, all the wood on the doors and the, and the, and the, uh, stained glass, but it also has, you know, things that are going to require some expense to pull out, i.e. this marble tile floor that's coming out. Um, again, kitchen, window, lot of space. So you could really remodel this into something kind of great. It's like an and 80s that's a rehab. Picture. Yeah. <laughs> 80s rehab. Look at that yard. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Now this is the front yard and there's some backyard too, but look at all this space. And you're surrounded by houses like it. Um, these are big, old great homes. There was another home in Old Edgebrook, but the pictures were done by the owner probably, and they were so dark and dreary, you would think monsters live there. They don't. But it was, it was very badly photographed, so I didn't want to share it with you. Um, so that, those are the homes that you can get in and around Forest Glen, uh, all under a million dollars. Marvelous. Before we go, can I share a couple of I'm listings unsharing. with you? Yes. Okay. So since we last 
we're together. I, uh, I don't know, I don't see it. Hold on, just bear with me. Here we go. I have two listings I wanna share. The first mm -hmm. is 57 Delaware, the Bristol. We just listed this for 550,000, excuse me, 519,000, including parking. It is just off Michigan Avenue. It is a lovely one bedroom, one and a half bath. You can see the powder room here. Mm -hmm. And the bedroom has marvelous space with a walk-in closet separate shower just to the left of this is the side-by-side -side wash and dryer 1122 square feet in all this, what does that building have quickly tell us a little bit about that building oh yeah you're asking because you know this building has an indoor pool it has gardens see look at that lap pool indoors it's got a beautiful fitness room gardens and a new club room And you're just off Michigan Avenue there. So it's a great location. Wonderful location. The next one is rare and wonderful. 82 Elm. It is part of a complex that has uh, 18 condo units. And it's this unit here. It's a private entry. So it feels like you're walking into a home. You walk up and you're right in your unit. And oh, look at that. Isn't it interesting? It's just. They redid the kitchen in 2014. It's really cool space. This is like a spa closet that they built in and it is using um, Japanese doors. Isn't that cool? It is. You gotta keep it clean then. Yeah, right, bathroom. Mm -hmm. There's a deck here, mm -hmm. big bath. Second bedroom, powder room. It's a one, two bedroom, one and a half bath. Here's the back deck. Love that. Love that. And then that. there's a roof deck. So yeah. again, great space. So oh, great and then space. I want to show you my bargain. Did you say how much you're? Did you say how much you're offering it for? Five fifty. Good. So yeah, two bedroom, five fifty. Now here is my bargain of the week. This is a two bedroom, for four hundred twenty nine thousand, including two parking spots okay where can you get this how cute is this you've got a full gourmet kitchen here with cooktop oven microwave view of lake michigan there's one bedroom with that big bathroom gallery entrance Beautiful. second bedroom Second full bath and a washer or dryer for four twenty nine. Hot diggity dog. Okay. Well, let me show you now. I'm going to show you mine since we're sharing. Um, so let me make this go away. And everyone, ignore my um, my full screen. Hold on, hold on. Alrighty. So here is 1948 North Hudson Unit One. This is this unit here. Do you see? Um, and this is the building, so beautiful. Look at that sun-dappled street. Entrance. It's gorgeous. Living room. Uh, it, it's, it is actually bigger than the way they've laid out their furniture. Look at those big front um, windows. They open up too, if you want. Um, and a gas fireplace with marble surround. Um, here, more pictures. The dining area is, um, adjacent and this is where you get to see the length of it kitchen was remodeled in 2019 and the blue kitchen the blue um is considered a hot trend all new turkish um marble backsplash under cabinet Lovely. lighting um these what you don't really um appreciate is that these ceilings are 10 feet high so they couldn't make the cabinets go up to the top because no one could reach into them. New window in the kitchen, all new 2019 um, uh, appliances, which are that fingerprint print proof uh, stainless steel. Gorgeous kitchen. I mean, I just love it. And um, downstairs, we've got 
the um, family room also with its own fireplace. That's an enormous room. And there you get the, um, look at that TV, it's so big. <gasps> Here's the master bedroom on the first floor. Those are the back steps leading up to the private, to the, there's a private deck right outside and then a um, shared deck up top. Um, three big closets. They've got a lot of furniture, but this is a nice size room. They re, um, they updated the bath, um, new fixtures, lighting, toilet, but it's a nice big. That's uh, lovely. Uh, what's your address on that again? 1948 North Hudson. It's in the Lincoln Elementary School District, really one of the top school districts on, in one of the prettiest neighborhoods in the city. Very close to Armitage, so it's easy in, easy out. Right. Just three blocks from the lake, uh, I mean, excuse me, the park. It's, it's lovely. So this is the second bedroom that's also used as an office, third darling bedroom, um, second bath, and then the third bath, um, side by side, full size washer dryer, really key people. And then here we are to the share, it's a shared deck, um, but look how pretty that is. They're um, having it uh, power washed and stained this coming week. So it's it's really gorgeous, and I, the listing has the um, has the floor plans, but that's your street, and that's all the street parking you've got, because they have the 6 p.m. to whatever time um, ban. So it's really good, easy street parking, and there's a one car garage. Beautiful. Thank you. So, oh, we've we've run over by five minutes, as we often do. Yeah, right. I know. Good to see you. Good and to see you. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Watch us every Monday morning at 6 30, or you can catch us on YouTube or our Facebooks. Uh, Kyle Harvey Shy or Ann Rossley Real Estate is where you find it's, us. It's Kyle Harvey RE. Kyle Harvey Shy is, um, is Instagram. There you go. So, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.